Hi everyone, Fatma here from Addictive Tips and I'm going to show you how you can run a shell script on Windows 10. So this is the shell script that I'm going to be using and it's a pretty simple shell script that you can use if you don't have another one on hand. You should know that not all shell scripts are going to work on Windows 10 because they're generally written for Linux. So the first method that we're going to use to run a shell script on Windows 10 is through the Windows subsystem for Linux. Go ahead and open control panel and go to programs. Click turn windows features on or off. You get this window, scroll to the very end and enable windows subsystem for Linux. Click OK and you're going to need to restart your system. Once your system has restarted, open the Microsoft Store and install Ubuntu. Once it's installed, go ahead and launch it and you need to go through the initial setup. So now that you're back on your desktop, we're going to start running our script. Um, there's a couple of things that work differently in Linux. So before we can run the script, we need to first move to the directory that has the script in it. And to do that, we're going to use the cd command like we use in command prompt, but the path is going to be given a bit differently. So this is the path that I'm using and you can see that it starts with a forward slash followed by mnt, which means mount, another forward slash, and then there's c. This is basically telling Linux to mount the C drive. And then followed by the C drive is the location of the script that I'm going to be using. So this command is basically moving this Linux directory into the desktop directory. Once you've executed this command, you can now run this second command that you see on your screen and the script will run. Of course, you need to replace name of script with the actual script that you're running. And you can see that the script works because it is showing you the message that it was coded to show. Now, if you do not want to use the Windows subsystem for Linux, you have one other option, which is to use git bash. Go ahead and download and install it. And during installation, it's going to ask if you want to add it to your path variable. Go ahead and do that. It's going to make it much easier to run the script. Once the installation is complete, go ahead and open git bash. And this is the script that we have. Go ahead and drag and drop it onto the window and then tap enter. And the script is going to be executed. It's really that simple. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later with more tech tips.